are. Now let the magic of germination do its wonder. Germany? <laughs> it's germination, Kitty. Hey, friends. I know, just like little Kitty, you are all curious to know about this nature's way of gardening and learning how the plants grow. So, in today's episode, let us answer an evergreen question. What is seed germination? Zoom in! Everything in the universe begins with something. Even the universe itself is believed to be born out of a cosmic egg. And just like that, the life of a plant starts from a seed. A seed has three major parts. A seed coat, which is the outer layer that protects the plants while they grow and develop in the mud. And inside the seed, there is the baby plant called an embryo. And the rest of it is cotyledons that contain food for the baby plant. But remember my friends, having a seed isn't enough for planting a tree. You need to have a proper condition for it. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, we need to check the level of moisture and temperature, the right amount of sunlight and the quality of the soil. It's also necessary to understand that plants can't grow in any given condition as they are adapted to a specific environment. For example, a tree that lives in the desert probably wouldn't last in the rainforest. And a tall tree can't survive in grasslands due to the process called adaptation. So, always choose your seed wisely. To know more about the adaptation process, you can check our video on Adaptation in Plants. The link is in the description below. And once we are happy with the surrounding environment, we are ready to sow the seed inside the ground. And this is where the magical and fundamental process of germination starts, by which different plant species grow from a single seed into a plant. Let us see in detail how. First, the seeds consume water rapidly from the soil, resulting in swelling and softening of the seed coat at a suitable temperature in the process called an imbibition. But water isn't enough to make the baby embryo grow. It also needs food. And fortunately, the food is already present in the cotyledons that activates the enzymes and the baby plant gets its nourishment. After some time, the seed coat ruptures and we see a tiny root emerging out of it. Later, the root grows and pushes down deeper into the soil in search of more water and nutrients to feed the baby plant and takes hold of the soil that will help the plant from falling over due to external forces. And in the last stage of seed germination, the seed cells become metabolically active, elongate as the coat splits from the opposite end to give rise to the seedling. Finally, we see the growing plant rising through the seed coat and emerging above the ground, searching for sunlight. When this happens, the cotyledon has finished its job. And because their job is done, they fall off the plant and become part of the soil. Once the cotyledon is gone, the plant's tiny leaves take over the task of supplying food to the new plant with the help of photosynthesis. And this whole process of a single seed growing into a plant is called germination. Trivia time! Did you know a Russian team discovered 
some seeds of Silene stenophylla, a flowering plant native to Siberia that has been buried by an Ice Age squirrel? Yes, the radiocarbon dating confirmed that the seeds were 32,000 years old. Also, the seeds of Proteus from South Africa germinate after they have been exposed to smoke. Wow! This is actually a survival tactic for plants that grow in fire-prone zones. Isn't it amazing, friends? Do share your views, suggestions and love on our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.